So today we're going to look at a product from a manufacturer that many of you probably have not heard of. I know I didn't before looking into this. According to my sensors, the my home office, the place where I spend a lot of time, is really dry. It's like 20% humidity dry, and it's to the point where it's bugging me. So I decided I need a little humidifier for my office and thought, hey, why don't I check out to see what's available in smart humidifiers? And there isn't much, to be brutally honest, um, especially not much that works with more than one ecosystem. So what I wanted to do is, is look in and say, hey, well, what's the price difference? And as it turns out, um, I managed to pick this guy up for $20 more than I would have for a non-smart version. So I said, hey, let's try it out, test it out. We'll post a video, see what happens. So this is the um, Oitem, I guess that's how I say that, humidifier. For the people who care about such things, it has a three liter capacity, it's cool mist, and it has an essential oil diffuser built in. And the stuff that I care about, it's Wi-Fi based, has Amazon Madam A support, Google Assistant, and although not marked here, it also does have a um, smart skill set up for Samsung smart things, which is kind of cool. Um, with that, let's take a look. So you guys are going to have to bear with me because this is a big box. Um, it is definitely bigger than any of the other accessories I've looked at before. What's interesting is it only marks on the box that it works with Amazon Madam A, although the website does say, and I can confirm, it works with Google Assistant as well as Samsung, So, which tells me they've kind of they've started doing more development work on it, which, again, I like that. So we will get into the box here real quick. So just like it says on the box, there's a humidifier in the box. Not a big surprise. Uh, sorry about the camera angles here. We're just trying to see what we can see in the box here. There is uh, what appears to be some cleaning tools, um, a little more cardboard, some documentation, instructions there in the bottom. So it's uh, it's what you would expect to see in a box like this. So let's clear the box and we'll see what we've got. So the device itself is looks like a humidifier. There's, there's not much uh, crazy about this, very minimalistic. There's not a lot of decorations on it, as you can you can see. Um, we'll take the top off here, take a look inside. You've got the, what I guess the, the water is going to come up through this guy. It's a humidifier. There's really not much else to say about this. I think you guys know what this looks like. So um, if you guys want me to come back and take a deeper look, I can do that. But I'm going to skip to the more interesting part. And of course, the interesting part is getting this connected into my smart home and making sure that I can um, adjust it and address it through uh, Madam A or other, right? We want things automated. So the first comment I want to make here is I'm not showing you guys the user registration because the password was actually in clear text on the screen, which kind of makes me concerned. So you probably don't want to use the same password um, from a security standpoint, kind of questionable. The adding was pretty easy. You just pick on the humidifier and then it says power on the device and confirm that the indicator light rapidly blinks. So let's do that now. If you have any issues making it blink, you've got instructions here, which is you power on the device, power it off after 10 seconds and then power it back on. And then you hold the reset button for five seconds. Confirm the indicator light is now rapidly flashing. And then we should be good. So this is a little tricky in that that light is really, really, really dim. So you can see here that I'm turning the device off. We can watch the lights go out. There we go. It's totally off. We will turn it back on. We'll hold down that reset button, the wireless button. And that seems to do the trick for me here. You can kind of see the bottom um, LED is flashing there. It was really faint, and it took me a few times to actually see that. So just be aware that uh, it, it's not as obvious as I would like it to be, but it does work. So once you've got that blinking, we're going to go back over to the app. Again, if you have any trouble, the instructions are here. So don't worry. Just follow the instructions, and you will get through this. Click on the confirm indicators rapidly blinking, and then it asks you to put in the Wi-Fi password of the network you want to connect to, and you can change the network. This is also in clear text, which not a big fan of. So at that point, it is now going to be going over and programming your humidifier to connect to the, um, I think it's called the Smart Life is the name of their application, cloud. And it's transferring over your Wi-Fi settings, all that kind of stuff, and just doing the initial setup. and. Um, including initializing your device. There are uh, the opportunity here to do a upgrade as well, right? So we've successfully added the one device. I can share this with my family if I want to, or just click done. So we're going to do that now and then do a little tour of the app. So I can set the fog level here. Again, this is a cool mist humidifier. It's not a, a steam humidifier. I can turn the LED on and off, um, all that kind of stuff. It, it's what you would typically expect here. Power it on and off. 
right? So the, the app is, is functional. Um, I can't really complain too much. This thing, I'm not expecting too much, but it does kind of, you know, it does what's on the box. Again, check for firmware update is in here. Um, device sharing, all that stuff is available, which is pretty cool. So now we have the Amazon Echo, which we're going to go through and we're going to look for the smart life skills. So we're going to go over to Amazon um, Madam A app and set that up now. But before we do that, I want to modify the name here because I've got another device in my smart home network that has currently the name humidifier. So I'm going to call this office humidifier. Now let's flip over and we'll set that up on Madam A. So here we are over on the Madam A app and we're going to um, menu and then go down to skills. We're just going to click and type in smart life into the search tab. So that's the over skill the that Madam we're looking a for. App, and we're going to search for smart life here. So it There's does not say OITTM OITM on it here. Doesn't it doesn't even mention the humidifier, but OITTM I can tell you that it works. We that. So we're just going to click on the enable and here and make sure that well this um, is connected to our Amazon account, our Madam A account. Is, and then we're going to see if this discovery shows up properly. So again, you can see single password and clear text. Not great. Not a fan of this. So we're going to get the right username and password in here, click on the authorize button, and it will tell us that uh, Madam A will be able to get your access to your profile, all those good things. To continue, close this window to discover your devices. You can control with Madam A. So we will now do that. Click on discover devices, and hopefully, with a little bit of luck, this will show up. This takes a little bit of time. So as we've seen before, Madam A will go through a complete discovery and check every single skill for any updates for any devices you have. So this could take a few minutes. So now that we're done, let's go and see what devices have been discovered. So it should have picked up the name. So if we scroll down, we should find Office Humidifier and we're presented with some information about this device. So I can uh, disable it, I can re-enable it, which is good, but I don't seem to be able to do much else, which is kind of interesting. I was hoping maybe for um, humidity control, you know, being able to control the level, but it doesn't look like I can do that. It's, it seems that I've got straight on off capabilities here. Um, and of course the ability to do this on voice as well. So let's take a look at that. Turn the office humidifier on. Okay. And on and off is really all you can do with your voice controls. You can't um, ask it to turn the fog level up or ask it what the humidity is. There's no humidity sensor on this. It's really a basic on-off device that you can access through Madam A, which is, is cool, um, but that's about it, right? So just realize what you're getting into here. For me, the added cost of the $20 versus the, the one I was looking at, didn't make much of a difference. Uh, the only other thing that I will point out here that I did is I put this in the group, a group with my, um, in my office. So now I can say instead of talking, hey, Madam A, turn on office humidifier, I can just say turn on my office or turn it off. And because this office humidifier is included as part of this group, it will turn everything off, um, which is kind of cool. So again, kind of simple. But an interesting product shows that there's starting to be more products out there that are Madam A and uh, Google Home accessible. No home kit here. If you found this useful, please subscribe to the channel. Um, give me that thumbs up. That would be wonderful. And uh, if you have any questions, please post in the comments below. Thanks.